I have never played this series before. There are some negative reviews on this game about the abysmal PC port and the appalling lighting. Trying not to be a fool like I usually am, I decided to watch a video comparing the original and the legendary edition. And here's why you should buy this Mass Effect Legendary Edition. It is more progressive. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. Look! In the original, this nerds is still stuck in the elevator! What is up, friends and foes? That's a cool helmet. Feels like it will save you from any car accident. Alright. So I've heard that Mass Effect is like story heavy. So like that's the reason why I'm playing this. Just because of the story and not because of um aliens stripping in front of me. I'm already enjoying this. It's, it's already suggesting me to start a new career. That's like, that's what I really need to do. Like, I can't Welcome be teaching English forever. Um, John. Alright, I choose you, John Shepard! Please log in to access your How program. do I log in? Profile reconstruction complete. Reputation, sole survivor. Oh no! Identification confirmed. Don't trust me as a sole survivor! Let's go with, um, normal, veteran, veteran, you friggin' kidding me, I'm not a veteran, my dad is, I'm not a veteran, okay, are we meeting Sarah too? Well, what about Shepard, Earthborn, but no record of his family, doesn't have one, he was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilization of the galaxy called it Mass Effects. Oh, that's Jupiter! The Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander. That's uh, Neptune. Uh, that's what I've learned in school. Teacher! Finally, I got to use the knowledge that you have taught me! Get away from me. I'm a soul survivor. With scars. Man, I look like I'm mad at something. Like, somebody went to the bathroom and forgot to flush. I'm like, I gotta win, like, in the bathroom after him. Joker. <laughs> Two. One. Thrusters. Check. Navigation. Check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under 1500k. 1500. Who are you? Your captain will be pleased. What are you doing here? I hate that guy. 
Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I, just I told you, he just went the to the bathroom. Target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on them. Joker, did you go to the bathroom yeah, before me? The official story. But only an idiot believes. You the gave me a, story. another scar, an emotional one. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Come oh, great. You what did I just click? And now I'm going to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Um, you look like my uncle. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um. Are you just performing? You you like playing piano and like look? I can I can play without looking. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, commander. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just enjoying the environment. Okay, I'm gonna try to talk to everyone and only keep what I think is the important parts for you guys. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. So, this navigator guide also says Captain Anderson is a very accomplished military man and that he does not like the Turin race because of the first contact war when humans went to war with the Turians. That's crazy. Let's go talk the to these nerds. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. What can you tell me about Nihilus? 
Centurions are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. So Jenkins is from Aiden Prime, and he doesn't want to go back there because it's boring. And uh, he wants to do a big root and toot and shoot. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Protheon. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Looks like he is wearing a mask. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that By the way, that's how you describe girls. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. Don't count on me. You can't count on me. I'm not reliable. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. 
If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Captain, you have a baby face. Anyone ever told you that? Get down! Uh, not from this angle. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't. Get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Captain, can I change my mic Everything and can we stay up here? That. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38 points. Send somebody else. Send Joker. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Captain. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot. I question your decision. A small strike team can move quickly. Can I go to the attention. bathroom first? It's our best chance to secure the beacon. I'm shocked. Can you see Grab it in my eyes? In the cargo hold. Um, Captain. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. You need to know the truth. I'm not a veteran. I just want my dad to be proud of me. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Um, Otherwise, I want radio Captain, silence. I need a... Can I stay up here, Shoys? Um, um, let's, let's talk first. Can we trust that alien? I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Turian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in the Spectres, and he wants that beacon. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Oh no, Captain, I just want to talk! Approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. I guess... I don't have a choice. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Um. Which, which way? Which way is back home? Kits! Balloons! Let's play with the balloons! Oh god, what happened here? Go ahead, you two, I'll uh, wait here. <laughs> um, 
I'll I'll remember you. I'll remember you, Joseph. Um, I'm gonna play with these balloons. Why are you back here? We should wait here. Wait until they fall asleep. I'm here to avenge my friends. We are the three bikers. Uh. Have you seen our mother bike? Uh. I need you to go fight for me. Out, Abu Rehans. That's more important. He's our friend. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Where am I? Medi Joe is needed to heal injured squad member. Oh, shoot! There's so many of them! Oh, well done! Got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. Do you want some cookies? A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Use left shift to. This. Oh. Oh, nice! You can do it. You don't need my help, you can do it. Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. The Geth was created by the Quarians. It's to be a source of sheep labor. Robots turned on their masters.
This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Let's get moving. Williams, where's the camp? It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. What happened to everyone? Oh god, they're still alive! What did the Geth do to them? Um, where are we supposed to go? The train station? Closed. Security locks engaged. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry. Close the door before they come back. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. Um, I am we could become mad. best friends, you know? I'm we have to say mine. One left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Do you want my number? Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Sarep. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Uh, you, you should have watched him. Oh no, let's go save him! Oh no! I'm here, Nullis! Oh no! What the hell? What the hell happened?
Now let's I'm here. Come Don't on. worry, I have a third ace kid. Oh shoot! How's it going? There. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was in trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Listen, kids. That's what we need to do, okay? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Stay lazy. I don't you really want life. to think about it. We need to, we need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Okay. So, we have learned a very valuable lesson. Um, we should just sleep here. That's how we survive. Go, my friends. You can do it. Don't mind me. Um, that's what I've learned from the planet. Slasala! Slasala dance! Why are you so tough? There, I'm a veteran. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's time to go. Come on, guys. You can trust. You can trust me. Show yourself! Oops!
Saren. I'm coming for you. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Dude. Leave no evidence that we were here. Nice bandana. Who knows a Turin could become so fashionable. Is that the beacon? They're just, just, just gonna casually like park it here. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Oh no! We're disarming bombs now. Cover for me! Look, get this thing first! Okay. Where's the other one? Here. <sighs> and Jesse is still alive. See? I am a veteran after all. What's going on? That's probably the last one. Alright, alright, we have survived. Against all the odds. Let's go home and celebrate with some drinks. Oh my god. It's like someone dropped a bomb. That must be where the Geth ship landed. Normandy, 
The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Nice dog. Okay, let's stop here for part one. There were some parts with no commentary because of some first-timer problems and also my stupid microphone. My apology. Thank you for watching, my friends. You all stay safe and fashionable and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>